Okay, so the idea here is to kind of try to use this stock knife, this clog knife, to carve the basic shape out of a spoon so that we have very little work to do in the end. So now, it's just a matter of starting to get the feel of how this thing works. It definitely will hog off some wood. For sure. Good learning curve with any tool. I'm sure, this one's no exception. I am really happy with the way it's carving right now. I have to figure that a lot of this stuff is not working exactly the way I want it to. It's just me probably not holding the tool correctly or angling the tool correctly or something like that. It's, generally speaking, it's not the tool's fault, it's the user. So we just keep whittling away at it here. It's really not taking that long. I'm sure I'll cut the video down, but I know I haven't been at this more than 20 minutes probably, if that long. And yeah, I probably could have done this just as fast with an axe, but I sure couldn't have been gotten this fine of shavings this quickly, I don't think with an axe and I think this is going to do a pretty fine job of shaping it in the end the way it looks because you can really take some nice fine shavings off of this thing I might have got a little ambitious with my length here with my spoon but you can see the way that's dishing out right there that would be just beautiful if that were where your spoon came up to right there. Unfortunately, I've got to come clear up in here to meet what I designed. So, I'd kind of like to see, you know, there's got to be a certain length of material, obviously, that you're going to be able to mess with on here due to the capability and length of this knife and the hinging point. You're only going to be able to go so high. And I may have gone beyond that with this. Some of it may just be changing the angle a little bit of things. I really like the way that looks. If I could match the other side to it, I wouldn't be all fired unhappy with that. I think we might have got a little over ambitious here on our length to begin with, so I shortened this thing up because obviously you are limited by the length of this blade and how high it rises off of this block here. But I think we can go with this. So we'll just go back in here. And cut away all of this. Just like 
this. And you can see, boy, this thing has no issues taking some mighty big chunks out of this wood. One thing I do like about this is because it rotates, you can almost do a rounded cut. I really like that. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, this, uh, this ain't too horrible off for something that was made with a hand-forged stock knife and a chisel. We didn't use a knife on this thing at all yet. Sandpaper, nothing. Of course, it needs all that. It needs oiled up, but I mean, as far as just making a quick spoon blank, I think there's a calling for that with this stock knife. If you got used to doing it, you could probably do it pretty quick. Not much doubt in my mind that a shave horse may be faster. But there may be things that this can do that a shave horse can as well. So I just wanted to try my hand at something with this stock knife other than just carving shavings with it. I wanted to see if it would actually shape wood. Did a pretty good job here. I can see there's a couple areas I'd like to touch up on it. But all in all, you know, that's not a bad crude little spoon for something we just knocked out real quick with two tools.